have another fun product today. I was asked to test and review the LED solar torch light. So let's break this box open and take a look. Let's open up the box here and see what we get. Well, that's cool. Has a cool uh, looking outside. Once again, this is the Cineton, like I've uh, reviewed in the past. Assembly is super easy. Just connect this middle pole and then the spike here on the end and you're done. Let's go get it installed. Getting the light installed is very easy. Just find the place you want it and you just simply push it into the ground. And that's it. That's how simple it is. Let's take a close up look at some of the features here. On top you've got a nice big solar panel. You can see all the different patterns on there. Coming down, the mechanism that makes the whole thing work is located inside here. We'll get to that in just a minute. Down here, there's its branding mark, and then a little bit hard to see here, but there is the on-off switch. And then, uh, like we said before, simply just a, a pole that sticks into the ground there. Let's take a look at the operation in the daytime. I've just turned it on. Whenever it senses light, it's charging, and at nighttime, it will automatically come on. So I'm going to cover the panel so we can see what it looks like. There you go. And so do that. Now it's charging again. Now we're going to come back later on this evening and take a look at this whenever it is dark out and see what it looks like at night. The sun has just gone down and the torch light has come on. I tested this for three days in a heavy rain and uh, obviously it's still working so it is rain proof and we had cloudy weather for those three days. After a good charge, this lasted two days without sun, and then it uh, stopped working yesterday evening, about two hours after it came on. But I expect after today's full day of sunshine, it'll last for another two days. So I'm very impressed with the light, and it looks great. Maybe a little bit repetitive, but uh, if you're not staring directly at it, it does look very realistic, so I definitely uh, like this light. This torch light is pretty cool. I've been testing it now for about a week and a half. It has survived five inches of rain and nine degrees last night, so definitely can withstand the elements. Now it is middle of December, and whenever it's uh, straight up and down, it does not get a lot of sun here on the top, so I mean, I'd have to point it right there. That's what, like 45 degrees to get full sun. So it comes on about 5.30, um, cause it's dark here at five, and then uh, lasts till about 10.30 and then goes off. Um, but when I first tested it out, it had a full charge and it made it through all night and most of the second night. So uh, I have a feeling in the summertime, it will uh, last several days uh, with a good day's sun. So something to consider is uh, how it operates in the winter time, but I like it. It uh, has just a little bit of a um, predictable consistency, uh, a pattern, I guess you'd say, if you sit there and watch it. But uh, I doubt most people who are visiting the house will sit and watch this. It does freak out the dogs though. They come running out the stairs and come barking at it and realize that it's been there every day for weeks, so. <laughs> oh well. If you'd like to pick up one of these lights for yourself, I have the Amazon page in the description below. And as always, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button, and I will see you in the next video.